Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Bandit's Tarot by Serithic Pathways, and this is going to be your all's weekly reading for the next coming week from March 29th. You can apply this if you have Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus within your natal chart. And Scorpio, as usual, these are collective messages, so the things that I say may pertain to you, and if it does, then claim it because it is your message. Scorpio, let's see what is happening for the next coming week. One thing that I was getting for you, Scorpio, this could be the week where you're making a big financial purchase. Um, it could be surrounding your home. I'm getting that for some Scorpios. Just getting settled into a place if you're relocated or if you recently moved, this could just be the week where you're settling into your new home. But something is coming up about your home this week. I don't know exactly what it is. We can look into it. Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's see what is happening for Scorpio. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Put it in front of the sunlight. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we have the Seven of Swords. We also have the Two of Swords. Self-Deception. The Star Card. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I'm getting that for a lot of Scorpios right now, you're just stuck in your head about something. Going back and forth about two things, perhaps, because whenever I, whenever the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords, we're going to clarify these cards, but whenever they pop up together like this, I read this as self-deception, because if you look, if you look closely at the lady in this card, she is blindfolded but she has the ability to take off that blindfold. But she's instead choosing to keep it on and hold these two crows. Um, some of you could just have too much on your plate, your hands in too many baskets, Scorpio, that could be the case. And that's causing you to get mentally wrapped up. But let's go ahead and look at what this means for you. What is this Seven of Swords and this Two of Swords talking about? What is this Seven of S Ace of Wands? Perhaps a new opportunity that is being presented to you that you could be going back and forth about. Temperance. I'm also getting that this could be a busy week for you. You're trying to make something happen here, Scorpio. And then this Knight of Swords, this guy popped out. A message coming in. You guys receiving some communication. Maybe surrounding your finances. Something that you've been having a feeling about. Like you know, something has been telling you how am I trying to phrase this? Your guts have been telling you something, Scorpio, about your money. Your, you, your instincts have been telling you something about your money. Something going on with your finances. And this could be the week where... I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just saying this could be the week where you could be hearing something about your finances. Hmm. I'm also seeing something coming up at the end of the week as well. What else is going on for Scorpio for this week? What else is going on for Scorpio? Ten of Swords. Keep on missing that sunlight. And then this Page of Wands. Some of you could be ending a difficult cycle with a fire sign. I'm also getting that someone out there is in pain.
like and whenever I say pain I mean very traumatic pain surrounding a person that perhaps you trusted you got too you know you let them get too close And now you're having to start over. A cycle has wrapped itself up. I don't know what that's about, Scorpio. So if you do, sound off in the comments below and let me know. Things are definitely wrapping up this week. And I'm also getting that if you can't make a decision, Scorpio, and don't shoot the messenger, um, if you can't make a decision, a decision is going to be made for you. All right, so just keep that in mind, especially for the ones of you that's dealing with people that you don't know where you stand. Like, you don't know what terms you're on with this person. That That's what it could be talking about. But And then for others of you, it's surrounding your finances. But let's go ahead and move on to the oracle portion of this video because I don't want to make it too long. Okay, Scorpio, this is things that you can take from this video that your higher self or whatever you choose to believe in wants you to know for the next coming week for Scorpio. Breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. This could be a week of breakthroughs, Scorpio, especially surrounding confusion. Lovers, relationships are highlighted. Now, this could go one or two ways, okay? And you're going to know which end of the spectrum you fall on. If your relationship's going good, it's going to go, it's going to, you know, I'm seeing people's going to go to the next level. On the contrary, if your relationship has been built on an unstable foundation it's cracking and that could this could be the week where it's gonna fall apart sorry um, but keep in mind guys anything that I say in these readings is preventable really you're up to your own fate so don't take this by tooth and nail okay Don't try to make sense out of it if it doesn't, if it's not applying to you. And then fool. Something coming up about you expressing your inner child, honoring your inner child to your Scorpio is important as well. Okay, and all, uh, equilibrium too. Restoring balance. Another thing I would, that's coming up here is fertility so if you're not trying to get into that then use protection and if you don't use protection and if you are trying to get pregnant this could be the week where that is possible so Scorpio this is your tarot reading for the next coming week I hope that you got something from this and do me a favor on your way out can you hit the thumbs up button it helps my channel out tremendously and I will catch you here next week. Namaste.